What is going on? It is Nate the Game Guy coming back with another video at hand. Today, I want to talk about what I consider to be some of the most underrated exclusives that happen to be on the PlayStation 2. Now, PlayStation 2 is actually the best-selling video game console of all time, and it's actually known to have many great classic titles such as Shadow of the Colossus, the Ratchet and Clank games, Gran Turismo, Sly Cooper, SOCOM, among many other great titles. However, these are the titles that, in my opinion, happen to be extremely underrated and unfortunately don't really seem to get that much love and attention after all these years later after the PS2's life cycle. So with that being said, let's jump right into this video. The first game on the list that I want to talk about is Twisted Metal Black. Now the Twisted Metal series was just considered an absolute classic when it was on the original PlayStation. However, looking at Twisted Metal Black to when the time it came out to basically how the game has aged over the years, how people have looked back on it, to me, I feel like it's a game that's really underappreciated. The Twisted Metal games, in my opinion, have always been fun and I actually like the dark, gritty atmosphere that they added in to Twisted Metal Black, where of course the Twisted Metal games were considered dark, but they really amped up the darkness and the grittiness when it came to Twisted Metal Black. It's basically vehicular combat, and you just go in and just start gunning different people down with your vehicles and all that in these big arenas. It's definitely a game worth checking out, so whenever you have the opportunity, definitely check it out. The second game on the list is The King of Route 66. For whatever reason, this arcade port literally became a PS2 exclusive and never was released onto the GameCube and the original Xbox at the time. Basically, the King of Route 66 is about, you basically get into your semi and essentially what you're doing is you're trying to transport goods along Route 66, trying to get to your destination without damaging the goods, damaging your truck, and trying to make sure that you get there on time, reach checkpoints, and also make sure that your rival doesn't beat you and actually doesn't damage your goods. It's actually a very fun arcade port, and I'm definitely not saying that this game is among the ranks of Shadow of the Colossus, and God of War, and Ratchet and & Clank, and all those other top-tier PS2 titles. While it is a game that I can definitely see why it flew under the radar when it came to PS2 exclusives, it is nevertheless a great game and a great arcade port that is definitely worth checking out. The next game that's worth mentioning on the list is Parappa the Rapper 2. Now, the original Parappa the Rapper is definitely considered a classic title and is considered to be a very memorable title among PlayStation fans. However, when it comes to Parappa the Rapper 2, I believe that the game is more disliked than it actually deserves. Yes, I agree that there are certain parts in the story that are annoying and Yes, I agree that the game is as memorable and as classic as the original. However, I do think the game still has its bit of charm to it. I really enjoy the soundtrack overall. I found the songs to be extremely catchy. And for those that are unaware of the Parappa the Rapper games, it's essentially a rhythm game where you're trying to make sure that you hit the buttons on screen at the time that you're supposed to hit them. And it's actually inspired two fan made games that have been very popular in recent years, which happen to be Friday Night Funkin' and Scratch and Melody. It's definitely a game, in my opinion, that's actually worth checking out at some point to not only enjoy a relatively fun game with a super enjoyable soundtrack, but it's also worth seeing where some of these games, such as Friday Night Funkin' and Scratch and Melody, originally got their inspiration from. Another underappreciated title when it comes to the PS2's library is Ape Escape 3. Now it's no question that the original Ape Escape was an extremely fun game and memorable title when it came to the PlayStation 1's library. However, when looking at Ape Escape 3, I do believe that the game is very underrepresented and not as mentioned as much as it should be. Ape Escape 3, just like the original Ape Escape and previous Ape Escape titles, essentially you're going around trying to catch Spectre's monkeys with your different gadgets and nets and all that good stuff, right? 
However, with this one, which makes it unique is the different environments of we are able to go to these different places where they're themed off of different TV shows and different movies. Like there's some places that are themed off of horror movies. There's some places that are themed off of fantasy. And it's overall a pretty diverse game when it comes to its environments and its locations. I actually did find the game to be pretty fun. While I definitely understand why it's not as mentioned in the top ranks such as Shadow of the Colossus and God of War and, and all those other top tier PS2 exclusives, I do feel that the game is definitely worth mentioning when it comes to underrated PS2 titles that just somehow flew under the radar. Another game that doesn't get the recognition it deserves, in my opinion, is War of the Monsters. Essentially what War of the Monsters is themed off of is movie-themed monsters, such as Godzilla, King Kong, and other movie monsters. And essentially what you do is you go in to these cities and you just start beating each other up and just go in on each other, right? It's actually a very fun game. For whatever reason, I just don't know why people don't talk about it as much as they should. It is a very fun title. It's definitely worth checking out. And whenever you have the opportunity, definitely give this game a go. An underrated series that's definitely worth mentioning on this list is the Disgaea game, specifically Disgaea Hour of Darkness and Disgaea 2 Cursed Memories. While it is true that these games have also received PSP ports in the later years, these games were originally released as PS2 exclusives. And I realize that there will probably be some people wondering why I'm putting Disgaea on this list when it's been a relatively successful JRPG franchise. However, I do believe that most JRPG franchises do tend to be on the underrated side, hence why these games will be going onto this list. Now, the Disgaea games are tactical RPGs where essentially you have to plan out your moves and plan ahead what you're going to do, almost like a game of chess. And you get your different characters and monsters and they all have their own different abilities, such as swordsmen, spearsmen, magicians, along with other abilities as well. The stories are also pretty enjoyable in my opinion, and the humor is also up my alley. So if you are looking for underrated JRPGs and a good tactical RPG, it's definitely worth giving the Disgaea games a shot. Now keep in mind too that the Disgaea games are also very grindy too when it comes to its gameplay. So if grinding is not really a thing you're a fan of, you may want to pass over these titles. However, if you don't mind grinding at all when it comes to your RPGs, then the Disgaea games you definitely will not mind. Being a massive fan of the Transformers franchise, it should come as no surprise that I would put Transformers on this list. Now interestingly, I have no idea why this game ended up becoming only a PS2 exclusive, but the game is actually themed off of Transformers Armada, which originally aired in the US from 2002 to 2003, while this game came out in the beginning of 2004. While this game is definitely themed off of the Transformers Armada show, it actually has no correlation to the actual story in the show itself. The game's story is basically simple. Try to collect all the Minicons and hunt down and stop the Decepticons. For those that have never watched the Transformers Armada TV show, basically the Minicons are miniature sized Transformers that give the Autobots and Decepticons different abilities. The game itself is actually pretty fun with the different Minicons that you can find scattered across the levels and the maps. And the game actually has some pretty interesting locations that you can visit such as the Amazon Rainforest and Antarctica. Now, if you're someone who's a massive Transformers fan, and actually wants to play a decent Transformers title, this is a game that I definitely recommend checking out. A pretty fun extreme sports title that is absolutely worth checking out on the list of underrated PS2 titles is Jet X20. This game is like Wave Race meets Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and essentially what you do is you race from point A to point B while doing tricks and stunts off of different ramps while also going through little posts collecting boosts. Now, I definitely have seen people compare this game to the SSX titles, and unfortunately, as someone who has never played any of the SSX games, I unfortunately cannot speak on this matter. But what I can speak on is the fact that it is a incredibly fun extreme sports racing title that is underrated, and in my opinion, is definitely worth checking out for those who have never played it. Now, when it comes to platformers on the PlayStation 2, there's one title that easily comes into my mind when it comes to underrated games on the PS2's exclusive library list, and that is Klonoa 2 
Lunatis Veil. Now this game is pretty similar to Kirby, minus the fact that you don't suck in enemies and absorb them. But what you do instead is you have a magic ring, you grab your enemies towards you, and you can launch your enemies forward, upwards, and downwards to help you solve puzzles, fight bosses, fight other enemies, and jump to higher ledges. The game takes place immediately, right after the events of Klonoa 1, and just like Klonoa 1, it's also a very underrated platformer. Now thankfully this game did get a remaster not too long ago, but considering that this game was originally a PlayStation 2 exclusive, and overall I do feel that Klonoa is still underrated franchise, that is why I am going to be putting Klonoa 2 on this list of underrated PS2 exclusive titles. And finally, wrapping up the list of underrated PlayStation 2 titles is Jet Li Rise to Honor. This game was an absolute blast to be a part of. It literally felt like playing and being a part of a martial arts film, and the game was just very entertaining from start to finish. And for those that enjoy martial arts and enjoy a pretty decent action title, it's actually a game that's absolutely worth checking out. To be honest, I'm surprised that it's not mentioned more when it comes to great PS2 titles, considering how enjoyable and how fun that the game is. It's actually, in my opinion, quite memorable, and you can actually see that big budget treatment that Sony poured into this game when the game came out back in 2004. If you want to talk about underrated PS2 titles, look no further than Rise to Honor. All right, and that will include my list for the most underrated PlayStation 2 exclusives. What do you guys think? Do you happen to know of any exclusive PS2 titles that I didn't mention or that you consider to be underrated? Feel free to comment in the comment section down below. Please be sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more content related to gaming and game collecting just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I'll be seeing you guys next time.